Well, it's day two of the strike, and Nigeria's hit the street to bear their minds on series of issues affecting national growth and development. But President Bola Tinumbo and his team have reacted with commitment, renewed commitment, to addressing the fallout of economic reforms instituted by his administration. The Director General of the Nigerian Employers Consultative Association, Sadewale Oyeride, was on our flagship business program earlier today. He highlighted the implications of this protest on the larger economy. We've seen a bit of those demands. Um, to the extent of the protesters, those demands are valid. Mm. Uh, but the, the gap between desirability and the context of uh, what is the current reality, you know, some demands that are, that are constitutional in nature, they are not um, plug and play. They're not, um, they're not, you don't plug them, you don't remove them for plug. So some of those demands are quite, um, even if government accedes or decides to implement, it takes a bit of time, some time, probably years, for some of those things, um, for some of those things to, um, to, to, uh, to, to materialize. And for you to achieve this kind of demand, you also need to build consensus. Consensus between the protesters, you also build consensus between the citizens, build consensus between among the political class. So consensus remains the, the, biggest, um, the, biggest, the biggest element in this, um, in this conversation, consensus and continuous dialogue. You know, those, those are the things that we advocated. And the organized private sector earlier in the month, earlier in the, yes, early this month, the president of the organized private sector actually came up with a statement. So look, dialogue remains the most potent, uh, potent element to use in resolving these issues. After yesterday, what happens? You know, we've moved from peaceful protest to, to looting, to destruction, and to fatalities, to loss of life. A couple of days ago, I, I, I put a call through and uh, made a press statement that uh, our members are not going to participate in this um, protest because in the, in the beginning we do not know exactly who are the ones that uh, ordered for this protest and uh, uh, since we don't know them, we are not ready to participate. Uh, secondly, uh, if this uh, protest go haywire, I think uh, we will be the most affected because you know mobile phone business is like bank business where monies are being exchanged and uh, each, each product, each device means a lot to us. It's a money. So we, 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 I gave instruction that we are not going to participate. But away from that, the stock market ended deals on Friday with improved figures as fund managers took in more securities in portfolios. The market index improved by 0.38% to underscore gains on investment, followed re following renewed uh, enthusiasm uh, in all sectors. Now, oil and gas companies, Oando, got the highest price advantage, followed by securities from the insurance market. The low traders in the market included UPD Cret, Suno Assurance, ABC Transport, Japal Gold and Sovereign Insurance. Well, Asian shares were headed for their worst days in over two years.